a very good morning my dear friends and welcome to our channel mother mary's protection let us now listen to the word of god this is gospel reading for today gospel reflection and catholic mass readings for april 12 2024 friday of the second week of easter first reading a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 5 verses 34 to 42 But to one in the council rising up a Pharisee named Gamaliel a doctor of the law respected by all the people commanded the men to be put outside a little while and said to the Sanhedrin ye men of Israel take heed to yourselves that you intend to do as touching these men For before these days Joseph Theodos affirming himself to be somebody to whom a number of men about 400 joined themselves who was slain and all that believed him were scattered and brought to nothing after this man Joseph Judas of Galilee in the days of the enrolling and drew away the people after him he also perished and all even as many as consented to him were dispersed and now therefore i say to you refrain from these men and let them alone for if this counsel or this work be of men it will come to naught but if it be of god you cannot overthrow it lest perhaps you be found even to fight against god and they consented to him and calling in the apostles after they had scourged them they charged them that they should not speak at all in the name of jesus and they dismissed them and they indeed went from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were accounted worthy to suffer reproach for the name of jesus and every day they ceased not in the temple and from house to house to teach and preach christ jesus the word of the lord thanks be to god response real sum your response one thing i seek to dwell in the house of the lord the lord is my light and my salvation whom should i fear the lord is my life's refuge of whom should i be afraid your response one thing i seek to dwell in the house of the lord one thing i ask of the lord this i seek to dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life that i may gaze on the loveliness of the lord and contemplate his temple your response one thing i seek to dwell in the house of the lord i believe that i shall see the bounty of the lord in the land of the living wait for the lord with courage be stout hearted and wait for the lord your response one thing i seek to dwell in the house of the lord the acclamation alleluia alleluia one does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of god alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to john chapter 6 verses 1 to 15 after these things jesus went over the sea of galilee which is that of tiberius and a great multitude followed him because they saw the miracles which he did on them that they were sick jesus therefore went up into a mountain and there he sat with his disciples 
now the jewish feast of passover was near at hand when jesus therefore had lifted up his eyes and seen that a very great multitude came to him he said to philip where shall we buy bread that these may eat and this he said to try him for he himself knew what he would do philip answered him 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one may take a little one of his disciples andrew the brother of simon peter said to him there is a boy here that has five barley loaves and two fishes but what are these among so many then jesus said the men sit down now there was much grass in the place the men therefore sat down in number about 5000 and jesus took the loaves and when he had given thanks he distributed to them that they were set down in like manner also of the fishes as much as they would and when they were filled he said to his disciples gather up the fragments that remain lest they be lost they gathered up therefore and filled 12 baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves which remained over and above to them that had eaten now those men when they had seen what a miracle jesus had done said this is of a truth the prophet that is to come into the world jesus therefore when he knew that they would come to take him by force and make him king fled again into the mountain himself alone the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's gospel reflection my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus the gospel for today glancing through god frequently tests our confidence in jesus as a all sufficient ruler as a john 6 1 to 15 invites us to pause and reflect do we assert that the power of jesus is limitless god puts us through trials and uses us for his purposes my dear friends how often do we deny ourselves the opportunity to step back and see god's glory at work in our lives we fail to recognize that the lord's arm is not short because we are preoccupied with how impossible things seem we need to adapt the attitude that everything is in the hands of the lord and that we should return to him in both good and difficult times my dearly beloved friends how we should hear and take the apostles teachings to heart through our understanding of him who called us by his own glory and goodness his almighty power has provided us with everything we need for a holy life all we require in order to ensure that nobody gets lost you will find jesus to be the all sufficient ruler who meets all of your requirements let's look to jesus for fulfillment prayer almighty 
grant me the forbearance to await your divine timing. I acknowledge that I occasionally become involved in solving problems on my own and I neglect to spend time getting to know your preferences. Give me the bravery and endurance to follow your wishes in your time. Regardless of what people around me want me to do. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.